imagine that my wife is a virgin. I mean, hey guys, just... this is your girl done now. I'm here with a quick recap on Married at First Sight. And the big question for tonight was what happened on the wet night? What went down? What went down with Iris and Keith? Yes, Iris and Keith. What went down? Guys, stay watching. You don't even know my name. Before I dive into this video, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now and click the bell so you don't miss out on more videos just like today's All video. Right, let's jump into this. So I have my little notes. It was hot, hot, hot as usual. All right, guys, if you are not familiar with Merit at First Sight, it is a, it is a show that uh, follows the lives of four couples who are looking to find love and they got married. And obviously, it was at first sight. So diving on in, let's talk about Iris and Keith. And oh my gosh, um, <laughs> if you watch the very first episode then you know that iris is a virgin and of course she let it be known to everybody including keith's mom and i thought that was fun uh to watch her expression last week and um yeah 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 so she on the wedding night she mentioned to Keith as well, that she was a virgin, and he killed me with his look. But guess what? What's up? I'm a virgin. For real? Yeah. Why it made me laugh was because he had already known me, because his mama told him <laughs> what the deal was. And um, it was just exciting. So what happened? Did she have sex on her wed night or not? Well, she did not, and, you know, I love the fact that he says he's going to be patient with her, and he's just he just wants to make sure that their relationship lasts, and he wants to build a good relationship. So, no, they did not. Moving to Jamie and Elizabeth, and, you know, I, I thought it was something was going to happen. I thought that they were definitely going to have some action on their way. But nothing sexual happened. Not because we didn't want to. Because we were tired. And, uh, but as I watched the episode later on, and they went on to their honeymoon, which was in Antigua, uh, I do see the first night there, they are intimate. They got it on. <laughs> so that was interesting to watch. And she... Um, those two make a great couple. I'm loving Jamie and Elizabeth. They make a fabulous couple and it's just an explosive chemistry. I can't wait to see more. Into Matt and Amber. And you know, Matt is that, ooh, that tall ex-professional basketball player. And you know, Amber is the team. Very attractive, but we did not have sex on our wedding night. And that's fine. She did not have relationships. Or relationship she was not intimate on her wedding night uh, she waited as well so that oh, was let's great. go to Diana and Greg and you know Diana had been uh, and she was single for 10 years and Greg is someone who was you know looking for love all of his life and you know they paired them together and um, they make a really sweet couple. I'm excited for them. Uh, they did not have relationships at all either. In this episode also, they received a gift basket and they received their honeymoon destination. So yes, they went to a beautiful, amazing place, Antigua, and um, everything looks great so far. So the couples are loving on one another and it just seems like a perfect place. Uh, just a beautiful paradise and uh, I could already see in the f episode coming up for next week we can see some hot and steamy action going on with Amber and Matt I could see it um, yes but also like I said at the very end of tonight's episode yeah Jamie and Elizabeth they had some action some bedroom action going on for right. tonight um, that's our recap of Married at First Sight. 
and I hope you enjoyed this recap it's just something really really quick and uh, just to let you know what's going on guys don't forget life is what you make of it always has been always will be